All right, so a lot of people wonder, uh, you know, do I have a long distant relative who's gonna leave me money or, you know, I'm gonna get some sort of inheritance from them. You know, we've all seen movies or, you know, heard about something like that where, th where that's happened. So what happens if, you know, no one claims an inheritance? What happens to that? Well, each state uh, typically has a set of um, priority as to who would be entitled to any sort of inheritance, right? So Florida, for example, if you're married, goes to the spouse. If there's no spouse, it goes to the children. If there's no children, it goes to the parents. And you go on and on and on until you get out to uh, typically some, some form of cousin, right? Nieces, nephews, aunts, uncles. And then you get to cousins, maybe, uh, maybe uh, another type of cousin. Um, and those would be the people who would be entitled to it, right? Uh, if you have a will, if you have a trust, obviously that's going to, you know, you're going to name who's going to get those, that money uh, or that property, whatever it is. Um, but for purposes of this, where I see this come up is a lot of times, you know, you've got money, let's say at a bank account, uh, in a bank, an investment account, uh, or maybe a life insurance policy. And there's no beneficiary on any of those things, right? You owned, you know, or a, a distant relative, they had, you know, $200,000 at a Wells Fargo uh, bank account. They pass away, there's no beneficiary, they weren't married, they had no kids, no one even knows that they had money at the at Wells Fargo. So what happens with that $200,000? Well, typically, and again, each state does this a little bit differently, I'm speaking for Florida, typically that institution, uh, wherever the money is, is gonna hold on to it for a little while. They're not gonna hold on to it forever though. At some point, they're gonna turn it over to, in Florida, what's called unclaimed property. And it's gonna sit there for a while, okay? Typically 10 years. After that 10 years, the state of Florida keeps it and no one can go after it. They, they give it to some sort of um, education fund or, or something like that. But it's gonna sit in unclaimed property. So each, again, each state, uh, I believe in Florida, it's called uh, Treasure Hunt dot gov some version of that and you if you know uh you could search by a person's name by their birth date some version of that and you'll be able to see if they had money that's still there right so if you see that you know hey wait that person was related to me uh i'm gonna go try to make a claim on this money and then there's a whole process to be able to do it you'd have to go through probate prove that you're next of kin uh, a lot of times there's even what are called air search companies that will find a long distant relative and they'll say, hey, you know, Justin, did you know that you are the nephew of, you know, Scott and Scott passed away and he had $100,000. It's in unclaimed property for a fee. We can help you get that money, right? And then there's a process to, to do that. So, you know, again, there there are, it's possible, you know, that you, you've got money sitting out there. I've seen very large sums of money be in unclaimed property. And uh, a cousin who didn't even really know the cousin who passed away is now going to get a substantial amount of money. So it does, it does happen. But, you know, if you, if you don't make a claim, on, now typically a piece of real estate, eventually that's going to get foreclosed upon. Right. If you wait too long, there's going to be a mortgage. So uh, the lender's going to foreclose or there's going to be property taxes that obviously nobody's paying. Or maybe it's in such poor condition that the, the county, the city forecloses on it for uh, delinquencies and by code violations, different things like that. Real estate typically, unless someone's paying the property taxes, that's going to go away after a year or two years, um, something like that. But money but it's in a bank account or an unclaimed you know, insurance policy if there's no beneficiary, if nobody claims it after a certain amount of time, they're gonna turn it over to, to the state and you will have the opportunity to do it. Now, a lot of people are worried, you know, I don't care who gets my stuff, I just don't want the state to get it. Again, each state's different. Typically in Florida, it's gonna sit there for 10 years and then at some point the state will keep it. It's called a cheating, uh, it's cheating to the, to the state of Florida. Um, but there is a lot of time to be able to make a claim on it. If you're worried about that, make sure you have a will, make sure you have a trust in place, spell out who gets your stuff, name alternate people just in case the primary person passes away, 
And if you're curious, depending on what state you're in, try to find out the website or, or how to locate unclaimed property in your state and see if somebody you knew, you know, type in your last name, see if anyone by that last name has some money. And, uh, you know, you might get luck lucky and, and uh, get a big payday.